Good morning, you guys. I am taking you with me as I go Christmas prep shopping. So I have a couple of tasks today. The first being that I want to get items for the Christmas photo shoot that I'm having later this week. Really excited about that. I have big dreams. I want to get like matching pajama outfits. I don't know if I'll be able to get, but that's that's one of the things I'm trying to search for for Nyla and I. I also want to what do I, I want to get cake ingredients because I I think I mentioned to you guys I want to try make um, baking a cake a pre Christmas tradition. So on the 24th Christmas Eve we bake a cake. So I want to get the ingredients for that. And then I want to get some items, specifically games for Christmas Day because I want to try and play a couple of games with my family. Uh, and then what else do I have? What else do I have? Mm, there's one more thing, which is why I'm going to write this down. Give me a second. Okay, I've got pen and paper. I'm actually going to write this down because I don't want to forget anything. And if I seem a little extra giddy today, it's because Nyla is crawling. She's crawling, like she's moving around. And just like, I wanna say like four days ago, she started sitting up on her own. Um, so she'd go on her belly and then sort of pull, push herself back up until she's now sitting up, which I thought just was so incredible. I was like, oh my goodness, you're just a genius. How do you do that, Nyla? And then, this morning and I saw it for the first time I think yesterday but I wasn't sure if if I was just, I don't know if she was like if I pushed I, I wasn't sure but today I actually I put her on the floor I filmed it and she crawled towards a box of chocolate that that's how you know she's my daughter I had like the advent calendar in front of me I was like Nyla and she crawled towards me it was ah it was such an emotional moment it was such an exciting moment and I'm just feeling like an extra proud mom because this young girl is just about to like spread her wings and fly, basically. First of all, can we talk about this beautiful thing that's right here? How yummy is this? Um, I have a video that I pre-filmed for Friday, which is my 2017 favorite. So I'm not gonna talk about this a lot now because you will, you will get to learn about this beautiful thing, side table on Friday and get to know how much it was, which is like the price is going to blow you away. So look out for the last video in This Is Esma's coming on Friday. I have my hair in cornrows because it's that time of the week, stroke month, stroke my hair journey where I need to just put my hair up. This is why I feel like I need to, big statement earrings, but I wish I had even like chunkier gold hoops. Anyway, I'm going to put you there. I'm going to put on a show and do my makeup in, I wanna say 10 minutes. Finally done, let's go on our adventure, guys. You guys, I can't believe this is Esmas is coming to an end. It's so crazy to me. On the one hand, I'm really excited for it to be over. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a heck of a journey. The number of late nights and early mornings I've had trying to get things together, it's just been crazy. But on the other hand, like I've missed the excitement or the challenge behind putting together these videos and moving as quickly as, as one needs to in order to meet the deadlines. I only have like a couple more videos to film and, and then it's goodbye till next year. And then starting next year, I'll be putting up two videos a week. I am so excited for 2018. <laughs> And if I'm being honest, I don't know if it's because I'm also excited to say goodbye to 2017 or because I just feel really positive about the new year. I think it's a combination of both, but mostly because I just feel like 2018 is going to bring with it really good vibes. You know, I don't know if this is the time or place to go into these details, but 
I didn't start off this year in the best note. I actually remember starting the year being very anxious and very panicky and I started the year off by like crying <laughs> because I felt like I felt so confused and I felt like I didn't know what to do and what I was doing. I uh, it was just a confused place. But I haven't even started 2018 yet, but I'm already so excited. It's the exact opposite. I feel so positive and I hope you guys feel it too. I feel like 2017 was hard for a lot of people. So I'm headed to Two Rivers now. I'm gonna go into Carrefour to get all the ingredients and I'm hoping that they'll have a good selection of the things that I need. Like the, whoops, oh, these darn Nairobi potholes. Um, I also wanna get some prezzies. Oh my god, iPhone X has an advert? Oh, you guys, I didn't tell you. Guess what I got? A new phone. But you'll hear more about that in Friday's video. I'm so excited about it because my old phone was a biatch. It just used to stress me so much. Um, I haven't, I feel like I'm talking so much, but maybe this is the kind of thing that you guys like to speaking of which speaking of what you guys like to watch I, after my what video was it my um my morning routine video a lot of you guys said that you want even more like vlog type videos and truthfully they're actually easier to do so if that's what you want that's fine but i'll mix it up and do content that i want and i like and hopefully you guys like as well and then content that i enjoy doing that you guys want anyway so what i was saying is i will be getting presents for the people in my life or just a few of the people in my life um from nyla so nyla is giving out presents because i know that she will be receiving quite a bit of presents as well uh because she's the gem in the family so i want for her to be giving out presents as well not just receiving oh they've changed the adverts Hello. Hello. The coffee smells so good. I think I might just have some. up at LC Waikiki. I'm gonna try and whisper because as you can hear there's people around. And I'm now trying on pants. I really like this. But I, I didn't plan on coming for pants so I don't know if I should. God, they're so cool. They're so cool. Yeah. I like these a lot. How much are they? Let's see how much they are. Oh, they discounted. Oh my god. They were, they were like 2,300, now they're 1,700. You know what, I'm taking them. So that was a semi-successful shopping trip. I was able to get everything I need for the cake, uh, the ingredients and everything. I wanted to get a cake stand, but whoa, that's a big portal. Uh, so right now I want to go get games from Toy World at Village Market. I never go to Village Market as often as as I feel like I used to as a kid. Before we head out, I just wanna give a shout out to the Art Cafe Salted Caramel Cake. Oh my goodness. Oh my good, it's, it's, mm, mm. Oh, the gift wrap, wrapping options are better than, than the ones at, uh, at Carrefour actually. Okay, so we'll take this. This doesn't have a price this doesn't have a price tag, but I'm telling you, Taboo is such a cool game. The only reason I don't know if I'll get it is because I have an app. Not a real taboo app, like a fake app. But I reckon like it's always it's like a book. It's it's great to have um, you know, like a Kindle, but it's also good to have the actual book in your hands. And I feel like it's the same with games. Like you can have apps, but there's nothing like having the actual thing in your hands. I'm tempted to also get snakes and ladders, just you know, for fun's sake. But then I just saw it's like three 
plus years. Like, is it is it really a kid's game? But I think it'll be fun. Two to six. Maybe it's maybe I'm stretching it. This puzzle looks interesting. But look at how look at how difficult this one would be. Can you imagine trying to find all those buildings and lights? It's too much. So I think that's the one, and it's a thousand pieces, which feels pretty good. I don't know if we'll finish all of them, but we can try. Oh, there's so many more here. I think I've changed my mind. I'm gonna go for this one. I might hate myself when I'm doing the sky, but look at the colorful boats. Imagine getting all of these just right. It would be so pretty. Plus it's, it's just more fun than pasta, like boats, travel. I think we'll go for this one. So we're getting these two. Hello. Hello. I'd like to get these two. Oh, wow. Oh, are these gift cards? Yeah. Oh, this is perfect. Uh -huh. I'm getting gift cards too. I don't know if I want to go for this or this. I think this one. But then all my wrapping is like, no, no. I think this, I think, I think this one actually. This one. Okay, done. Done with everything. Um, the only thing I didn't get is like props for the shoot. What I didn't tell you guys earlier, by the way, is that you know the pants that I got that I fell in love? I mean, they're just so gorgeous. I thought they were discounted and I thought they were like from like 2,500 to 1,700. But when I got to the till, they were actually like 2,800. And I had one of those moments of like, ugh, if it's not on sale, then it's not as amazing as it was beforehand. But I just thought about, like I don't buy clothes that often and I'm very deliberate with the things that I do bring in to my closet. So if I find something that I really like, it's so perfect, it's comfortable, it can be smart, but it can also be casual depending on how you wear it. I just love those pants so much. So I ended up paying 2,800 and I, yeah, called it a day. What's shocking is that that taboo box, I'm even scared to tell you how much it was. It was like close to 6,000 shillings, which I had a moment where I just thought, oh my God, who actually needs taboo? At this rate, you might as well just play the app game. Oh God, I don't even know if I should continue talking because I'm just gonna start feeling like crying because I just spent that much money on a taboo game. But yeah, if anyone who knows me is watching this and is wondering what to get me for gifts, I say board games, like some really cool board, ga board games would be fun, like Jenga or something like that. Anyway, I ended up spending more money than I thought I would today and I'm just going to head home. I'm going to put it there. I hope you can see. Yeah, I think that's good enough. I just wanted to say that I was able to get a good number of the items that I wanted to get and I set out to get. For the baking ingredients, I think I already mentioned this in the car, but I'll just go through it quickly again. Baking ingredients, I got everything I wanted except for a cake stand. Uh, for gifts, I got, I think I wanna say like 50% of the items I wanted to get, which is great. Uh, and then for like Christmas day games, I got, everything that I would have ever wanted to get and paid like a lot more than I thought I was going to end up paying for it but you know what like I said in the car like I bet these games will bring me such joy and such amazing memories with family and friends over the next x amount of years that it won't really you know hurt to know that I spent more than I was hoping to spend but again I think I'm just I'm gonna go on you know what I'll go online now I'll go online now and I'll see how much this taboo this taboo game costs and if I was ripped off as badly as I'm scared I was. Oh my god. Ugh. Anyway, you know what? It'll just bring me joy. So according to this, the original price was like $22 but it's now $17 on Amazon, which even if it was like, say the original price, say it was like $22, that's like 2,200 shillings. And then you ordered it here and you brought, you ordered it in, you'd probably pay, say maximum double the amount. It's still 4,400. And I paid almost 6,000 shillings. So 
I'm just here to help you learn your lessons without you having to make the mistakes. Man, I'm just gonna take you through some of the things I got and give you and list the prices once more and then I'm gonna start wrapping. This better bring 10 times more the amounts of laughter I was hoping for. <laughs> so I got this for an exorbitant amount of money and then I got a puzzle which I'm so excited about. Let's see, I hope it's in focus. I'm not looking forward to putting this part of the puzzle together, but this, I almost don't want to wrap it. I almost just want to play it now, but I'll wrap it and then I'll save it for Christmas day and we can all play it together. And then I, I wasn't going in for this, but I bought myself a Father Christmas mug. How, how adorable is this? Like, it's just, it's so cute. And I think this was like 600 shillings. It's not the kind of mug that you pull out all year round, but it's okay. It'll go in storage until it's Christmas next time. I wish I bought it at the beginning of the month. Then I'd have been having it all, all month long. But uh, this I got for, from Carrefour. Oh, I want to show you guys. I got these uh, Terry's Chocolate Orange Mini to Minis. Toffee Crunch, and I thought I could put this on the Christmas cake. Once I'm done baking, I'll just throw a bunch of these on the top and use it to decorate. Ah, uh, I should have made myself a cup of tea so I can, yeah, let's make a cup of tea. So, I'm actually happy that you can't really see what's down here because I'm about to start wrapping up the presents. Uh, I opted for porridge instead of tea because, just because. <laughs> I'm hoping that my family doesn't really watch this vlog because they'll know that I definitely bought these things for Christmas but what is oh hey, I love that you like damn it I've just noticed that they forgot to remove ah uh, it's someone's present and they forgot to remove this like darn tag thing now I have to go all the way back to two rivers are you kidding me anyway let's continue with the wrapping My camera died, but I am done wrapping the presents that I did buy today, and I think I, I really like how it came out. I don't know if I mentioned, but I got the wrapping paper from Carrefour and these um, gift tags from, what's it called? Toy World. And that's it. That's my little package of Christmas presents that are all wrapped. The thing that had the tag that was still on, I've had to put it in that bag. I'll have to take it back, so I'm glad. I keep all my receipts because it would have looked very shady because I, I don't know if they'd have believed that I actually bought the item. Thank you for coming along with me on my day. I hope you find this video fun to watch and that you learned a couple of things like, you know, it's probably cheaper to buy a taboo online if you can. And I'm going to continue drinking my porridge uh, and then I'll start editing this video. Thank you for watching and thanks for coming with me. Bye. Bye. Bye.